It's on 40 in my right car. Bitches change, yeah, I like I ain't all this. Get in money, nigga, that my man. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a beauty guru intro like the one that you guys just saw using your iPhone. It's not the best, but again, we are just using an iPhone. But if you guys do want a more advanced version like on the MacBook, then just comment down below and I will do it for you guys. But anyway, let's just get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the, it's going to erase the background of our photo that we're going to use in the beauty guru intro. So I'm just going to enter a photo of Kylie Jenner using the top left icon right here and I'm just going to insert my photo so I just inserted this photo of Kylie Jenner and so basically with your photo obviously you just want to erase the background this app is pretty self-explanatory you just tap on the erase and you can click on target area and it just tap on the background and it will erase most of the background um, and then I'm just going to click on restore and just restore back the parts that it missed so yeah just erase the background of your photo using this app first so once you're done erasing the background you just want to tap on done and then you want to go to the top right and then you just want to save your image so I'm just gonna to go to the save button and then it's just gonna save it to your camera roll next you want to go to the app Fonto and basically what we're gonna do here is we're going to make a green screen with our photo so that we can mask it later on so basically you just want to go to the camera icon and you want to go to plain image and then you just want to tap on either the black or the white and you want to go to color and you want to make it a light green color so I'm just gonna use the one that they have right here and then you just want to tap on apply and then go to the top right and just tap on use. And then you want to go to the three lines at the bottom left corner and you want to add the image that you just saved from the eraser app. So here's the photo and then I'm just going to make the size a little bit bigger. And then once you're done, you just want to go to the bottom right hand corner and then you just want to save the image. So once you save the image, you want to go to the app motion portrait. And this is where it's going to make like the little blinking effect, effect and actually make the beauty guru in motion. So you just want to tap on the little logo, go to library, and you just want to add the photo that you just saved from Fonto, which was the green screen photo. So once you add the photo, it usually automatically already detects like the eye and the mouth. Um, but if it's not correct, you can just adjust it by moving the little... Um, the little dots and then mine is already set so I'm just gonna click on OK and then it's just going to make like the little blinking motion which I will show you guys in a second if this wants to there we go so then you just want to tap on the little record button down here and you just want to record for about like three four seconds which is what I'm gonna do right now so record to stop it so that's what it looks like. So then I'm going to go to the three dots at the bottom right corner and then I'm just going to tap on save video. We're almost done guys. There's just one more step. So once you save the video, you want to go to the app pocket video. And before you go to the app pocket video, you want to make sure you have a background image saved. So let me actually delete this. So basically I just went to Google and I searched pink background. So you just want to search like a background from Google and you want to save it. So then once you do that, you want to go to the pocket video app and you want to start a new project. And then you want to go to YouTube vlog. And then you're going to add the photo of your um, background. So I'm just going to add my pink background. So to do that, you just want to go to photos and just add your pink back or whatever background you have. So next, I'm going to go to video sticker and I'm going to add the video that we saved from motion portrait, which is the blinking video. So I'm going to go to video sticker and just add that video from my camera roll. So here is the video and you can just cue it to where you want it to start or end. I'm just going to use all of it. So just, I'm just going to click on done and then it's going to load the video and then you want to click on mask and then click on green screen so that the green screen goes away. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go to Q and I'm going to start it like right about here because I'm going to have like the little liquid transition and then it's going to show Kylie Jenner's face. So once you have that, you're just going to click and then you're going to go to 
video sticker again and then you want to go to add and you want to go to youtube this time and you want to search liquid green screens and they have quite a few um videos with the liquid green screen transitions so i'm just going to choose I'm just going to choose this one, 24 liquid green screen transition. So I'm just going to use this one, the first one. And then I'm going to tap on out right when the green screen is there. So I'm going to click on done. And then I'm going to click on mask once it finishes importing. Okay, click on mask and then green screen. And then just make it a little big so that it fits the screen. And then... So then I'm just going to tap on the check mark and then the last step is to just add your text which is just your channel name. So I'm just going to write Kylie Jenner, start it like right about there. Um, I'm going to go to text and then add and then for my text what I did I went to dynamic and I chose the purple one and I double up on where it says text here and then I just the white part and I just typed Kylie Jenner and then I click on done and then for the font. I used by hand, so the third one, and then I went down and I chose seaweed, uh, yeah, seaweed script. I should have left a little bit more space here, but I forgot, <laughs> but obviously if you guys are making this, make sure you guys leave a little bit of space when you're adding a photo so that you can have your text here, um, but I guess I'm just going to add it, like put it right there. Hopefully it doesn't look weird. <laughs> okay, and then you just want to tap out, and then here is what it looks like so yeah it's pretty simple once you're done you want to go to finish also if you want to add music what i would do is i would add this video into imovie and then add music into imovie if you guys don't know how to add music into imovie i'll leave my video link down below um but yeah just click on no and then you can just save your video so just click on save to camera roll and then it will be saved to your camera roll so I hope this video was helpful, you guys, and I will see you guys in my next one.